Remembering the 2000s and you, know, you look at AJ Styles coming over to the WWE. Few people can deny that AJ Styles carried TNA wrestling during the early years, right? Having seen how many of his colleagues fared in the WWE, he decided to kind of, that he was happy where he was. But this situation in TNA had changed and Styles uh, needed to change the industry. Styles signed with WCW just before they closed down and was not picked up by WWE. Instead, he helped other new companies get established. During an outside interview, um, Styles was asked for his thoughts on Hulk Hogan. He admitted that he had been reading up on events that led to WCW closing down and stated, you know, he stated, boy, am I glad he's not with us. Then in 2009, TNA president Dixie Carter announced that Hogan was coming in as her business partner. Naturally, people flooded Hogan's Twitter uh, feed with, with the footage. Carter made Styles the TNA World's Champion just before Hogan and Bischoff assumed their new roles. There was no better example of a star built up within the company. But Hogan and Bischoff took a snobbish, you might say, attitude to TNA. They insisted that nothing in TNA worked, and the fans hadn't heard any of, haven't heard of any wrestler who wasn't WWE or WCW world champion. They immediately began stripping talent of things that had gotten them over. Styles was repackaged as a, a Ric Flair impersonator who was managed by the real Ric Flair. As Flair and the Hogan feud was in drawing, they blamed it on Styles and had him drop the title to Rob Van Dam. Tensions between Styles and Hogan grew due to Styles um, calling out Hogan's unprofessional behavior. Hogan kept trashing the company, talent, and Carter in outside media appearances and on Twitter, you might argue. Styles would question Hogan's conduct and spoke up for the roster uh, at roster meetings. Hogan and Bischoff resented how Carter and the other wrestlers listened to Styles. So he was placed into a series of humility, you know, embarrassing storylines. The first saw him be blackmailed over his alleged affair with Carter. Then it was revealed that you know, they were helping a heroin addict who was pregnant with Styles' baby. The storyline was dropped with, 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 uh, you know, when, when the addict, uh, who's you know, the actress playing the addict, quit. Fans then identified her and spammed her email and social media to tell how poor she was at acting. Styles then lost the match, which stipulated that he could not compete for the world title for a year. And then into his, entered a storyline where he would sit out for a year. It was claimed that they were recreating the famous quote-unquote Sting transformation storyline from WCW. In reality, they were just uh, making Styles sit out the final year of his contract without pay. When Carter figured it out what was happening... She brought Styles back you know, uh, to actually do the rumored storyline. With three months left on his contract, he had used up all his all but all his dates. TNA allowed him to win the world title and defend it on the indie circuit while they negotiated a new deal. The best offer featured, um, I believe, fewer dates and a 60% pay cut. Styles had earned the equivalent in those three months elsewhere. While he was still in huge demand and physically able, Styles went on to make better money by competing all over the world. He competed for the world title almost everywhere he went and won it in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He also led the influential Billet Club stable for a while. He then allowed his New Japan Pro Wrestling contract to expire and he signed with WWE in 2016. He made his debut at the Royal Rumble. At WrestleMania, he faced Chris Jericho at Jericho's request. Uh, he, he then defeated John Cena in clean wins at three consecutive pay-per-views. 
Then, before the end of his first year, he did something that was considered impossible for a former TNA star. He won the WWE Championship. He later won, and he, he held that title for a full year. A full year. Imagine that. AJ Styles. <laughs>